Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a full face makeup tutorial with you guys. I know I haven't done one in quite some time. I've been a little bit busy with school, but I am going to be using the Meat Matte Nude Palette, which a lot of you guys requested a couple videos back. I got this for my birthday back in February, and I've been probably using it every single day. I absolutely love it. And this is basically an all matte palette from the Balm. You get every single matte eyeshadow you could possibly need in your life, and they are probably the best eyeshadows as far as matte eyeshadows go that I have ever used. They're buttery smooth, they're very pigmented, and so easy to blend in. So basically what I created uh, with this palette was a really soft uh, smoky eye. It's a little bit more dramatic than what I normally do. It's very warm, kind of peachy, reddish browns, and um, it's a little bit going to be a little bit more precise. going to take me a little bit longer to do it, but it's so easy to do, guys. Seriously, anyone can do this look. It's just very versatile. Uh, you can wear this day, night time. It's just a really soft easy smoky eye look and I also want to mention that I'm going to be using um, one of the Balm's newer trio palettes these are called the smoke bomb palettes and as far as I know there's only two of them but I use this really pretty kind of buttery um, shimmery cream color on the inner part of my lid so this isn't going to be completely matte there's a little bit of shimmer but you can get these I got mine at Kohl's and they were $12 a piece so uh, if you're interested in these check them out they're really really cute to create an, again a soft or dramatic smoky eye so I'm going to stop rambling and get on into the video. Okay, so I've already primed my lids with MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Then I'm taking a piece of tape and putting that on the outer part of my lid just to make this look really precise and so the shadow will have a clean edge. I'm taking Matte Scene in the Meet Matte Nude Palette. This is a really nice peachy nude shade. This shadow is what's going to kind of give the look a little bit more of a warm effect to it, a little bit more of a burnt look. I really love this shade as a transition color, especially whenever I use browns. Then for my highlight shade, I'm taking Matte Malloy, which is the white matte shade in this palette. And I'm putting that underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner. I'm also using it to kind of tone down the transition shade. This color is really good if you uh, get your shadows a little bit too dark or a little bit too heavy. It'll really help tone them down. Then I'm mixing Matte Garcia and Matte Rosen or Rosin together on a pencil brush. Some of these names I'm not even sure how to say. But I'm basically just taking that on a pencil brush and and placing that in the outer part. I'm kind of doing a B, but then again, I'm kind of not. As you can see, I'm kind of flicking the uh, brown shadow out on the end. Like I said, I used tape because I wanted this look to be very precise and I wanted to have um, a definite stopping point. And I think just by doing that slight wing really helps to define that crisp edge. And then I'm just kind of blending the excess into the crease. The next shade that I'm taking is again those two mixed together and I'm just basically putting that on a pencil brush and blending it out a little bit or not a pencil brush a fluffy brush and blending out a little bit more just so again it's a little bit more diffuse. The pencil brush gives you a little bit more control and the blending brush gives you a little bit more of a diffuse look. Then I'm, in, I'm going in with Matte Lombardi, I think is how you say this. And this is a really nice buttery kind of yellow shade. On the skin, it just comes off as like a warm nude. But I really love this shade for um, the inner corner. I think it really does help brighten up the look. And here I'm taking Combust from one of the Smoke Bomb palettes. And this is a shimmery cream shade. It matches the Matte Lombardi shade perfectly. It gives it that really nice, just kind of toned down shimmer. I wouldn't even say shimmer it's almost like a sheen okay here I'm taking the Tarte gel liner and I'm doing this off camera guys because it's literally impossible for me to do wing liner on camera so I'm sorry if you're really that interested in it I can do a separate video uh, for my lower lash line I'm taking Urban Decay Roach and then I'm taking those two brown shades again Matt Garcia and Matt Rosin and using that on a pencil brush just to diffuse the look I really liked using brown on the lower lid because again it's really wearable you can wear it during the day it doesn't look too harsh for my mascara I'm using the Bare Minerals Lash Domination moving on to the face I'm taking my Bare Minerals BB Primer Cream in light and I have really been loving this primer lately, so I'm using it once again in a tutorial. For my foundation, I'm mixing the NARS Sheer Glow and the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Um, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation is in light beige. It's a little bit too dark for me. And the NARS Sheer Glow is in Gobi, so it's a little bit too light. But when I mix these shades together, it gives me the perfect color. And they're both really nice, hydrating, glowy foundations 
Oh, I'm so in love with the way that they look mixed together. I really want to say that the Bourgeois Foundation has the upper hand though because when I was using NARS Sheer Glow alone, I didn't feel like it was this glowy and this pretty on my skin. So I really think the Bourgeois Healthy Mix Foundation is what's doing the trick. And if you guys are wondering where I get Bourgeois from, I found it on ASOS and I actually got free shipping. So if you're interested in this foundation, it's very hydrating. It's supposed to be really good for your skin. It's got a really pleasant smell to it too. So I'm really excited to use this foundation on its own. Moving on to concealer, I'm taking the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. This is not the cream concentrate that they have in the pots. This is the regular concealer in the tube. It is very thick. So if you are not a fan of thick concealers, you probably won't like this. But let me tell you, this can probably cover a tattoo. Um, I'm using my fingers to blend it in because that's pretty much the only way that it works. It, you've got to have something to melt that product into the skin. To set everything, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Original Foundation in Fairly Light. I will say that my Fairly Light Foundation mixed with those other two foundations, it's like amazeballs. I've been loving it lately. It just it looks so flawless. Um, for my under eye concealer to set it, I'm taking my Bare Minerals Well Rested and I'm using that on a Sonia Kashuk. Uh, I think it's a point, pointed foundation brush. No, I think it's it's just a foundation brush. Anyways, it's by Sonia Kashuk. For blush, I actually did not use this shade. This is Sin by NARS. And uh, I didn't really like the way that it looked with the eye look. So I went back in with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Diffused Heat. Didn't record that just because it's not really necessary. There wasn't like a huge difference, but Sin is a little bit too plummy. I don't really know why I went for it. It was new. I wanted to try it out. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on to bronzer. I'm using one of my favorites lately. This is the Betty Luminizer from The Balm. And despite the fact that this is kind of like a shimmery uh, bronzer, I love contouring with it. I can never pick up on the shimmer. Um, it may just be that I'm a fan of glowy products in general, but I've just really been loving this bronzer lately and I can't get enough of it. To go with that, I'm using the Mary Luminizer, which is the highlight shade, and this is probably one of my favorite highlighters of all time. For my lips, I'm taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Lip Pencil in Midnight Cowboy, I think this is what it's called. Yeah. And for the lipstick, I'm taking the Too Faced uh, La Creme Lipstick in Naked Dolly. For lip gloss, I'm using the Buxom Full Body Lip Gloss in Booyah. It's a really pretty golden peachy sheen, and I love this lip combo. It's out of this world amazing. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye!